So we're here at um, ID Tech X. And uh, hi, so who are you? I'm Thomas Sweeney, and I work for SCM, it stands for Software for Chemistry and Materials. And what we do is basically we develop and distribute software for modeling materials. So all it takes is to define an yeah, atomistic structure, so place atoms, build a model, place your atoms, and then yeah, call various different programs which are available. And yeah, from there one can then predict uh, materials properties, uh, optical properties, um, chemical reaction rates, and yeah, general arbitrary behavior or general behavior. The atoms on what? Um, so you make a software? Yes. And what is this? For building what? Molecules? That is for building molecules. So Build a molecule. So with that, um, so with that, which for this molecule solves then the quantum mechanical equations needed to yeah, obtain solutions, and from these solutions, in turn, one can then predict the material properties. So, um, what is the SCM? SCM stands for Software for Chemistry and Materials. That's our company. Based where? That's in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And um, is this, nobody else is doing this, where people can predict what happens in molecules and stuff? Uh, like there that? are various different programs available. Uh, what we provide is more like a comprehensive software suite uh, where different programs, different models are available and various different tools for analyzing. So it's like one suite, one suite? Yes, exactly. And you get everything? Mm -hmm. And then uh, what is happening here? This so one. this is basically the program which is run now. And uh, so for example, we'll get some energy spectrum in principle of electrons. And we can then, for example, also... So what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm plotting the solutions from this. So now one gets, for example, yeah, a plot of the electron density, or alternatively. Yeah, find where the individual electrons are located. And plot these in turn. What is that? That is an electronic orbital. So that is where a single electron would be located inside this molecule. Wow. And so it says here you can do uh, stuff for uh, batteries, mm -hmm. um, all these different things right here. Yes. Nanoscience. How is it relevant for the nanoscience? Um, well, it's relevant in the sense that one, by definition, models uh, atomistic systems, so at the atomic level, and yeah, therefore the step is not far to um, yeah, then build. What software do you use? The, the nanoscientists? Uh, to some extent, things like that, yeah. So basically, the main idea is you start from yeah, a small, very um, yeah, atomistic model, and then uh, you get properties, for example, for molecules or for um, crystalline materials. And from these properties, you can then step up, go one step further to a larger scale, uh, for example, micrometer scale, and then examine properties there, see how a larger system behaves based on the parameters which were computed at the atomistic level before. And so the main idea then is often, for example, that you yeah, start from an atomistic model and via three or four steps, one can then go up until, uh, for example, chemical reactor and uh, model process conditions, as an example. And uh, here it says also you can do a pharma, and yes. uh, what do you do with the pharma? Um, we usually 
provide, um, yeah, for example, uh, binding situations, or one can, for example, simulate uh, proteins, the active center inside proteins, and see how biological systems behave. And uh, these are all the apps in your suite? These are some of the apps. The some of them? Yes. And they all run on Windows? Uh, they all run on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac. It's the whole thing. So is yeah. it big? Are you successful or a big company? Uh, or? We're 20 people about, so that was a spin-off from, uh, from the university in Amsterdam. And yeah. What's so. next? What's the biggest challenge? What's the biggest um, dream all the people have when they do this? Yeah. Well, the What's biggest the dream, dream the, the main thing is obviously these simulations, they contain a lot of in-depth knowledge about quantum chemistry. And uh, so what we try to do is make it easier. So the ideal thing would be in, let's say, 20 years, push a button on your iPhone, run it on a supercomputer, get the results back and analyze your model. What do you do with the iPhone? Push a button? Nothing yet, but that would be the uh, push a button, uh, let the simulation run on the supercomputer, and then get, for example, things back, your solutions back, and have your properties readily available. That would be a potential but application you case. Why did you have to wait uh, years? Can't you just run it on the cloud? The thing is to make things easy. As, in, as I said before, it requires a lot of in-depth knowledge, and uh, so we try to yeah, make computational chemistry work for our customers. Are your customers inventing new molecules? Um, yes, whereas I wouldn't call inventing it. It's more like uh, typically you have uh, like an extremely large series of different potential um, candidates for molecules, uh, compounds. And then uh, what one can, for example, do is uh, systematically screen these individual compounds for their yeah, desired properties and then narrow it down so that the experimental work is then reduced to the remaining candidates, for example.